What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today is a review of the iPod Classic 80 gigabyte model. So this is the sixth generation of the iPod Classic. Let's go over the specs of this device. So this is 4.1 inches high and the width is 2.4 inches. The depth is 0.41 inches and this weighs only 4.9 ounces. And the screen is 2.5 inches long and it has a color LCD with LED backlit as well as a resolution of 320 by 240 at 163 pixels per inch and like I said this does have a 80 gigabyte capacity right here so let's take a look at the device itself so you have a 2.5 inch screen as I stated before as well as your scroll wheel right here with a center button and the left side you have nothing and as far as the right side you have nothing but on the bottom you have a 30 pin dock connector port right here as well as a hold switch and of course you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here so let's look at the interface of the iPod classic itself so the way this iPod works is that you have the scroll wheel right here so you're just basically rotating your finger on the scroll wheel itself in order to change your highlighted selection. So we can go to music, tap the center button, and then I can basically just go to different settings right here. And of course you have your videos tab right here, which I don't have any videos in there currently, as well as some photos right here. And it says I need to connect to power due to the fact that this thing is almost dead and I haven't been able to play with this thing yet. But anyway, so this is the iPod Classic 80 gigabyte model, and of course, that you have this not scratch resistant Chrome backing right here. So this it will get scratched. I mean, look how crazy it is. You can still see me in the reflection, but overall. Uh, this device it does have a nice feel to it. It does feel a little bit slippery because of the chrome design But I'm not gonna uh, knock uh, this device off just because of that because there's a purpose for uh, a certain material that does uh, that So as you can see uh, this thing it is thin however it, it is actually thinner than the iPhone but not as thin as the iPod Touch and that's no surprise because the iPod Touch it is so minuscule but this holds a lot more storage than the iPod Touch because the iPod Touch capacity currently can only go all the way up to 64 gigabytes and this one can go all the way up to 80 gigabytes and at the current capacity that is being sold by Apple right now is actually 160 gigabytes. That's a crap load of storage. You can basically store so many songs on here and then you can just plug it up to your car and have all your music on this little device right here. But overall, what do I think about this device? This is a really great device if you want to listen to your music and if you want to watch movies or something, you're not going to get a uh, an LCD display or how do I say it? Like a rectangular display like the iPhone on here. So for some of you, it may be a problem to watch movies on a smaller screen, but some people it might just be fine. Um, me personally, I don't mind it at all, but I would just prefer a, a bigger screen on here. That's why I mainly use this to watch videos when I'm on the go. But this isn't a bad screen at all for watching videos and of course watching music. You have no problem with that at all. Anyway guys, this was a review of the iPod Classic 80 gigabyte model. There wasn't really much to say about this device because all I can say is it feels great and it holds a lot of storage and that's its main purpose. And for those of you guys that like this video, please click the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. You guys want to stay updated with me on what's going on, what I'm doing when I post a new video, when I haven't posted a new video. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now.